My name is Laura. I'm the Early Childhood Program Developer at Children's Discovery Museum in San Jose. This is my bunny, Mason. <laughs> and we have a really fun story for you today. It involves, well, actually, let's sing our opening song first before I tell you what the story is. Okay, ready? So you ready for our opening song? If you're ready for a story, take a seat. If you're ready for a story, take a seat. Check your hands, check your feet, check your hands, check your feet. If you're ready for a story, take a seat. All right. Okay. So our story today involves two bunnies. One is the big nut brown hair and the little nut brown hair. Hello, everybody. Hi. <laughs> and our bunnies are playing in the woods and they love each other so much. And the little bear, or the little bear, the little bunny keeps asking his dad, right, do you guys how much I love you? I think you know what story we're about to read. We're going to do this. <laughs> but then daddy always is saying, oh, I bet I love you more than that. So it's a little bit of a competition. Who loves each other the most? <laughs> All right, are you ready for our story? Hi. Okay, so our story is a little bit unique because it's a pop-up book. Isn't that kind of cool? Um, so this was actually given to Mason when he was a baby by a good friend of ours. And it's been a little well-loved, so some of the pop-ups are a little bit in better shape than others. But we're going to read it anyway because I love this book. So it says, Guess How Much I Love You, the pop-up edition by Sam McBrantney, illustrated by Anita Jerome. Uh, yeah. Okay. You want to come scratch it? Okay, here we go. So first of all, ooh, so you can see them moving. That's cool. Isn't that neat? Little nut brown hair who was going to bed held on tight to big nut brown hair's very long ears. He wanted to be sure big nut brown hair was listening. Guess how much I love you, he said. Oh, I don't think I could guess that, said big nut brown hair. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's see. You want, you want to try pulling this part? This one's a little one that's kind of hard to, to do. This much, the little nut brown hair, stretching his arms out as wide as they could go. One of the arms out. I know. <laughs> Just pretend there's two arms, okay? Everybody? Okay, thanks. <laughs> but big nut brown hair had even longer arms. Oh, that's crazy. <gasps> Whoa, but I love you this much, he said. What? Hmm, let's try that again. I love you this much. Hmm, that is a lot, thought little nut brown hair. I love you as high as I can reach, said little nut brown hair. As high as I can reach. Uh oh, what's big nut brown hair gonna say? I love you as high as I can reach, he thought. Or that, oh sorry, as high as I can reach, said big nut brown hair. Look how high that is compared. Oh, why did it look so big? That is very high, thought little nut brown hair. I wish I had arms that long. Hmm. Then little nut brown hair had a good idea. He tumbled upside down and reached up the tree with his feet. I love you all the way up to my toes, he said. <laughs> uh, what's big nut brown hair gonna say? Like he's looking, he's looking. And I love you all the way up to your toes, said Big Nut Brown Hair, swinging him over his head. Let's do that again. Ready? Here we go. Whoa, look at that. <laughs> I love you as high as I can hop, laughed Little Nut Brown Hair, bouncing up and down. <laughs> Ready? Whoa! But I love you as high as I can hop, smiled Big Nut Brown Hair. And he hopped so high that his ears touched the branches above. Her watch. watch that again. Ready? Whoa! That's crazy and look, at, look at Baby Nut Brown Hair on the bottom here, looking. Whoa! <laughs> That's good hopping, thought Little Nut Brown Hair. I wish I could hop like that. Hmm. Of course you can. Yeah. Our next page here. 
I love you all the way down to the lane as far as the river. Do you see the river over here? It's a little nut brown hair. I love you across the river and over the hills. It's a big nut brown hair. It just kind of went even further, huh? See anything happening in the picture? Big nut brown hair, little nut brown hair, the river, the hills, the mushroom or thing. <laughs> Here we go. <gasps> That's very far, thought little nut brown hair. He was almost too sleepy to think anymore. Then he looked beyond the thorn brushes out onto the big night sky. Nothing could be farther than the sky. Let's see what he did. Let's see if you can get your hair. Big nut brown hair, little nut brown hair. The sky. I love you right up to the moon, he said, and he closed his eyes. Oh, that's far, said Big Nut Brown Hair. That is very, very far. But Big Nut Brown Hair set a little nut brown hair into a bed of leaves. He leaned over and kissed him goodnight. Then he lay down close and whispered. Okay, then he lay down close. Then he lay down close. Lay down close and whispered. you think of the story? Did you like that? I love that story. All right, my friends. I love how at the very end, the little nut brown hair thinks, what is the furthest thing? How can I show my daddy how much I love him? I love you to the moon. Like that's the furthest thing away that I can see. And then the dad says, I love you to the moon. And that's it. <laughs> I always think that's so sweet. So in honor of the moon, I have a fun song that we're going to sing. It goes to the tune of Mr. Sun. You might know that song. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun. But it's called Mrs. Moon, Moon, Mrs. Silvery Moon. And I have my moon here. Um, and actually, I, I like this moon because this is a moon that Mason had at school once. And if you ever look up at the moon, sometimes you can see different shapes. And he thought he saw a lobster, which I thought was just really fun. So we're using this moon today. <laughs> okay, so I'll sing it once and then you can sing it along with me, okay? Goes Mr. Moon or Mrs. Moon, Moon, Mrs. Silvery Moon, please shine down on me. Oh, Mrs. Moon, Moon, Mrs. Silvery Moon, shining for all to see. You're so far up in the sky. I wish I could visit you if I could fly. Oh, Mrs. Moon, Moon, Mrs. Silvery Moon, please shine down on me. Okay, let's sing it again. Ready? Mrs. Moon, Moon, Mrs. Silvery Moon. Please shine down on me, oh Mrs. Moon, Moon, Mrs. Silvery Moon, shining for all to see. You're so far up in the sky, I'd like to visit you if I could fly, oh Mrs. Moon, Moon, Mrs. Silvery Moon, please shine down on me. All right, good job, friends. All right. All right, so this game is kind of like rock, paper, scissors, but with a twist. So instead of, um, you're going to close your eyes and instead of doing like rock, paper, scissors, rock, paper, scissors, yes, we are going to actually do movements and see if we actually can match up our movements. So it might be like, a little confusing, but you'll get the hang of it. So like one of the movements we can do is I'm going to say, guess how much I love you. And we're going to go one, two, three, we're going to close our eyes. And then one movement we could do is we could reach up high to the sky. Another one could be, what's happening here? I could say, okay, guess how much I love you? One, two, three. And you could put your arms out wide to the side. Okay? And the other is hopping. So you could say, guess how much I love you? Hop, hop, hop. Okay, ready? So I'm gonna move this back so that we have some more room to move. <clears throat> Okay, <laughs> and um, I want you to find, maybe if you have an adult nearby or a brother or sister or someone so that you can do this activity with. Um, and again, so what you're gonna do is we're gonna try to be matching the same movements but not knowing what the other person's gonna do, okay? So remember, you can go 
up high, you can put your arms low, or you can pop like that, okay? All right, so we'll do it here, and you do it there, ready? Okay, so we're gonna say, guess how much I love you, close your eyes, one, two, three, do your pose, open your eyes, oh. all right, so I have my arms up high, Mason has his out wide, what do yours look like? Did they match? Okay, let's try it again, all right, all right, here we go. Okay, guess how much I love you. Close your eyes. One, two, three, go. Oh, I was hopping. <laughs> oh, you, yeah, so you can do remember you can go up high, put your arms wide, or you can hop. Okay. <laughs> this might be a little bit of a confusing game. Alright, let's try it again. Ready? Alright. Oh no, we're here. Yeah. We're done at you. <laughs> Alright. Guess how much I love you. Ready? Close your eyes. One, two, three. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Guess how much I love you? Open your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we started a match. Yay! Oh. <laughs> All right, okay, that's right for that. Okay, friends, thank you so much for joining us for story time today. I hope you had a good time with our story. It's always fun to see you. So we're going to do our closing song. Our hands say thank you with the <laughs> clap, clap. Our feet say thank you with a tap, 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 clap, 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 tap, tap, tap. We roll our hands and we roll them really fast. And we have to keep on rolling them fast because remember what happens? Oh, we have to say goodbye. All right. Bye, friends. We'll see you again soon. Bye. Thank you for watching our virtual Purple Museums broadcast. If you're enjoying this content, please consider making a donation to support our efforts. Our broadcasts are every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Stay in the loop by joining our email list by visiting www.cdm.org. Sign up today.